everyone charmaine here and welcome to another video and today we are doing a journal with me video but with a twist so as you can see this is my journal spread for the week and the thing that's special about this is i challenged myself to only use the contents of this subscription box from your creative studio before i tell you more about this whole process of creating using only the stuff in this subscription box i'd like to invite you to take the time to click subscribe turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up let's begin this video with a status update of my traveler's notebook i switched things up a bit and i moved the charms around and this is a resin art that art Addis gifted me and i moved the superior labor bear up over here he's just hanging over there on the top and that's basically it this is my traveler's notebook that is about five years now oh sorry it's going to be six years this november or october it has been a long while since i did a spread on my traveler's notebook i mean i did a couple of spreads as you can see when i flip through the pages so this one on my tn is actually like my main journal so i wanted to spice things up a bit and decided to do a challenge the thing that you see that i'm unboxing right now is the january 2021 subscription box it's a stationary subscription box that is curated by your creative studio i've been gifted these boxes in the past if you want to see the unboxings for those i will link it in the description below so over the couple of boxes that amanda sent through i sort of more or less know the contents like not really the design because there's a different theme every time but more of the kind of stuff that you get in each box for example you get a notepad, you get stamps, you get washi, and you also get stickers and stuff. So that is why I was like, okay, I'm going to do this challenge where I'm going to create a journal page using only the stuff in this box. And what's really fun about these boxes now is you get these exclusive items. The earlier boxes only had like, I think the sticker as a Your Creative Studio exclusive, but I love how they are coming up with exclusive stationary design that is created by Your Creative Studio team. Plus, I really like how cohesive the whole thing is. Each box has like this vintage style to it, and I just love how every aspect or every stationery that's included ties up all together into one theme so i was super confident that i could create a nice cohesive look on my journal pages using just the stuff in this box so about the rules that i set for myself i'm going to use everything in the box i mean everything on the page will be from this box but of course the pens those will be mine and also i think yeah the ink pads they're mine as well but everything else that you will see in the final page is from the box that is the january your creative studio stationary subscription box as you continue to watch how i put this page together if you're new here i usually use my journal with me videos to do like chit chats just a little bit of a talk about just the random things in my life or things about journaling and stuff. And today I'd like to talk about the comfort zone. So when I started to do this challenge of just exclusively using the stuff in the box for the page, I thought how difficult would it be? It's gonna be like so easy since everything in the box is cohesive, it has a theme and stuff. But what I failed to realize was that there are some aspects to the whole journaling process where I want to use the tools or the washi tapes that I already have or the stamps that I already have. While doing this journal with me video, I think I, I sort of like 
instinctively tried to reach out for this particular stamp or this particular washi tape that I had in my drawers and then I was like oh shoot I should use that but I, I can't use that then there were moments where I would pause and look at the page and I'm like you know that that stamp that postal stamp that I have would look good if I put that here but no I can't I can't do that because it'll defeat the whole purpose of the challenge this journal page was completed with a good amount of struggle and a whole lot of restraint on my part but my takeaway from this whole experience is that it's amazing we actually have our comfort zones especially when we are doing things that we are so used to doing and this was like a nice exercise for me as a creative to challenge myself to think out of the box and try to explore new combinations or color styles or it was a unique experience i wouldn't have thought that there i would have built this kind of like comfort zone in terms of this particular activity but with this challenge i realized that i do have that comfort zone aesthetic style thing and it's nice you know it's nice to see how our artistic or creative approaches evolve in this craft that we do would have i done it in a different way if i didn't restrict myself to use just the stuff in the box i definitely would i would probably have used less of the stuff in the box as i usually do because i have like a couple of stationery that i want to try out and i just get like these inspirations of oh this will look good with this and this will look good with that it's like i have like an inventory of the stuff that i have i know i have a lot of things and i have like a bin full of scrap and pretty papers and it's just crazy it's just crazy that even if they're a mess i know at the back of my head i know that they're there and i know that okay i can use this for this and stuff like that i guess that's why every time after i do a journal page my desk is like so messy but i guess that's a part of the creative process all in all i was satisfied with this spread since the theme of the box was like vintage cinema i decided to just jot down a couple of the movies and series that Arvin and I watched the past couple of months, the stuff that I liked. So we watched Get Out, it was like a thriller thing. And then we also watched, oh, I could recommend Midway, it's on HBO. I noted that I would have watched that in the cinema if it wasn't COVID. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the process of me creating this journal page using only the stuff in the Your Creative Studio subscription box. I will link YCV's socials in the description if you want to go check them out. Thanks for making it through till the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy your weekend. Bye!